The San Diego Tourism Authority's Tourism Accelerator Program provides resources for businesses owned by people of color, women, and veterans, as well as those in the LGBTQ plus community. For the second year, they have selected 10 local businesses to assist, one of which is joining us today, John Hogland, owner of Ortegas, along with Chef Rojas, here to talk about the program, how it helped them, and we're also getting a little taste of the cuisine as well. Good morning to both of you gentlemen. Thanks morning. for being with us. Good morning, Evan. Uh, love the food that you brought. This morning, we are just getting the aroma of Ortega's uh, here in studio. I uh, want to start off by you telling us about how this program has, has benefited you guys. Uh, you were saying you applied. When did you apply and, and what was that process like? I applied sometime at the end of last year okay. and then they selected us the beginning of this year. Uh, I think they had about 60 applicants and they picked uh, 10 people. And the, I mean, the purpose of the program, obviously, to help boost that tourism in the area, to help get you guys the funding that you need. So, so what does that money help with? Yeah, so for people who don't know, the Tourism Authority has a $50 million budget. They're responsible for bringing businesses yeah. into San Diego to fill up hotel rooms, convention centers with meetings. And so they selected 10 businesses throughout the community, and I was, our business, Ortegas, was one of them that was selected. And so they provide us with opportunities for networking, okay. uh, marketing. They got us this opportunity to be here this yeah. morning. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else uh, they provide classes for us okay. different training and they just kind of help to inspire us to do better and move yeah. our business forward. Ortega's has uh, a history not just in San Diego but you were saying down in Mexico right so right. tell us about uh, about Ortega's story. Yeah so Ortega's started uh, the Ortega family in the 1950s in Puerto Nuevo a small lobster village. Okay. It used to be a fishing uh, village a sports fishing <laughs> Hence so they the would lobster take, on hand, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the tourists would come down, they'd take them out sport fishing, and then they'd eventually serve it out of their patio of their house. And then the you, lobsters for the tourists. And 18 then years ago, you guys moved it up here? 18 years ago, uh, we took that concept here to San Diego. Uh, we're located in Hillcrest, the corner yeah. of Third and University. Can't miss it, right? Great corner, very busy corner. So it's a popular place for people to come, enjoy Mexican food in the area. Chef Rojas. You are the master of the guac here, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us what goes into your menu items. I mean, you can first off, if you want, tell us what we have on here. So and we, then you're going to demonstrate how to put together that perfect absolutely, guac. Absolutely, yes. So we have our chili relleno right here. It's a very traditional Mexican dish. And then next to the um, steak and lobster, our famous Puerto Nuevo turf. lobster. Yes, serpent turf. And then our famous Puerto Nuevo lobster. It looks amazing. Like yes. I said, it smells great, too. Uh, what goes, is there a secret? way to make the perfect guac how do you do it I mean you gotta have the um, you know all the ingredients right. in here the right ingredients uh, we have a uh, tomato cilantro onions and of course a little spice of jalapeno there we go and um you know just like the Mexican flag <laughs> I like it yeah I didn't even realize that it totally is yes. and then you just you start throwing in the yeah the so avocado? we have the avocados fresh avocados here and while he's demonstrating this for us, tell us, you guys have a special going on this weekend, right, for Father's we Day? We do. Father's Day is this Sunday for everyone who has yeah. forgotten or not remembered. <laughs> yeah, right, um, exactly. The reminder to get those gifts if you <laughs> <right>. haven't yet. <laughs> or take them out, take Dad out for Puerto Nuevo style lobster or steak and lobster. We're doing $5 off all of our lobster dishes this Sunday. We're open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. I love it. Uh, it looks so good. Oh, and we, can we try the flan? You were saying we'll try that? Absolutely, please. Let's do it. This uh, is our homemade coconut flan. It's it so nice good. and creamy, more like a creme brulee. We only have about 30 seconds left, but while I try, I want you to remind people where they can go to find out more about you guys, your website, Absolutely. And it's just all that. Ortegas.com is where you could find us. Mm. How's that flan? It's delicious. It's awesome, right? It's the best yeah. one in San Diego. <laughs> That's right. It's Thank really you, Chef Ross. And then we have homemade flour tortillas as homemade well. We make them all in-house. We're going to be trying this guac in a commercial break, too. Thank you both, gentlemen, for being with us. San Diego Tourism Authority uh, providing those resources. So awesome to see. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Stay with us. More news, weather, and headlines after this.